Are you sleepless? Do you worry a lot? Do you get angry? Do you have compulsive thoughts? Are you a human? <laughs> well, I have something that could help. Hello, my name is Frank Hannaway, and welcome to Big Journey Small Steps, the channel where I talk about my spiritual journey to self-realization and the small steps that I'm taking to get to my goal, helped by my teacher, Ignathus Schwarren. Um, let me just say at the beginning, if you're getting this on Facebook, it's so much um, easier to interact with me if you click on the link on the bottom right before you get too much further that says YouTube and go watch this on YouTube. And that way you can leave comments and various things like that. It's just a nice way to do it. And, it, and you can subscribe and so forth and so on if you so desire. Um, and I also want to say, before I get to the meat of what I know you want to know, how, what's he going to say? Uh, <laughs> even I'm wondering. Um, I'm not a spiritual teacher. And the things that I'm saying to you today come from my spiritual teacher, Eknath Ishwaran. I will put the link for ishwaran.org below, and there's much more information about what I'm going to talk about there. So, the key to many of my mental ills, including anger, worry, frustration, sleeplessness, has been the repetition of a mantra. I started that in earnest five years ago. I actually started 20 years ago, but I never did it regularly and systematically. And um, so let me tell you, this is one of the least understood things, at least in the United States. And we use the word mantra. Mantra, mantra, they're interchangeable words in Sanskrit. So my teacher says mantra. And he was a Sanskrit scholar, so I say it too. Um, <laughs> so um, a mantra is a short phrase from one of the religious traditions of the world, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, um, and so forth. And you repeat it over and over and over silently in the mind, and you can learn to use it to push out unwanted thoughts, to help you get relaxed, calm you down when you're angry or worried or scared. And um, I have just found it to be enormously effective. Meditation, we do 30 minutes a day. Um, eventually, you, you, if you meditate for a number of years, you might add 30 minutes in the evening and have two 30-minute meditation sessions, one in the morning and one in the evening. But that there's 23 other hours. And we repeat, the people that practice passage meditation, we repeat the mantra as much as we possibly can throughout the day. Now, I got a good head start because I always took this at least a half hour walk in the morning. So from the very beginning, um, I would say my mantra while I was walking, and um, it's such a habit now that if I get out of the car in a parking lot and walk into the store, I'm saying my mantra while I'm doing it. I, as I'm walking around a store, I'm doing it I, all the time, all the time. But now at this point in my life, I have dedicated time each day where I just say the mantra. People say that it helps them to think they say it every time they open a door or whatever. So what happens is you, uh, and it, it begins to help you right away. So if you can get enough space and something's going on, like somebody is about to make you angry or something, if you can just keep your mouth closed and get start saying the mantra in your head, that will give you some space to calm down. And as time goes on, you'll use, learn to use it really effectively. Now let me also say, the mantra is not a battle cry. That's how we, or a slogan that keys your life. Um, there's specific verbal formulas that have been handed down for 
ages and ages. And I'll put the link below on ishwaran.org so uh, to the place where he talks about how to choose a mantra and how to use it. Um, he, I know I said you use it all the time. He recommends you not use it when you're operating heavy machinery like cars because you can get so absorbed in saying it that you really, your attention doesn't, your attention goes to that, and that can be dangerous. You wouldn't do it like if you were a teacher while you're teaching or when you're working or something. The real goal of the mantra, honestly, is that after many, many years and many, many repetitions, it becomes so automatic that it's saying itself all the time, and you can either give it your attention or withdraw your attention, but it repeats all the time. Um, it's not an affirmation. It's not, I am so good, I am so good. And um, some examples are the, the Christian one that there's a, a book about it called The Way of the Pilgrim is the Jesus Prayer, which is Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Um, that's my mother's mantra. Um, you may remember from George Harrison, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Um, we started, uh, that's my mantra actually, but I started the opposite of the way George Harrison did it, which is I start with Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, and so forth. And there's a short version of that one, which is to just say Rama or to just say Krishna, um, Baruka Ta Adonai in um, Judaism. Um, there, it just goes on and on that Om Mani Padme Hum in Buddhism. And I won't go through a lot of them. There are lots of choices on the website if you decide to try it and see. One of the things I would say that when you read what he says, be very careful that you choose a mantra that suits you and suits your religious background if you have one or that is um, non-religious enough that you can live with it if you're not a person who's comfortable with that and try it out for a couple of days and then stick to it. Don't try any other mantra and go read what he says about that. And one of my, my very second video was about the mantra handbook. So you might want to go back and look that up. If you, if you're in YouTube and you click on big journey, small steps next to the, um, I'll, I'll put a link to it, duh. I'll put a link to it below in the description. So anyway, so the mantra has changed my life. That's all I can tell you. And I know many people who, um, who will tell you that too. And even if you can't get started meditating, I hope you would start meditating. But if you can't do that, um, the mantra may be a, a door in. And you can always do it. You can do it while you shower. You can do it at any task that doesn't, that, that you do sort of automatically and mechanically. And a very important time to say it is as you're going to sleep. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I appreciate you taking your time with me. If you're on the YouTube channel and you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified by YouTube when and um, keep up to date and have availability of all my videos, click on the subscribe button. And from the very, very bottom of my heart, I wish you peace and joy.